in from Afghanistan. There has been a massive blast near the Indian embassy in Kabul. And these are pictures that we are getting to you from Kabul. A bomb blast was reported near the Indian embassy in Afghan capital, Kabul. Uh, but sources say that all mission staff are safe. Now, sources have told us that the bomb went off some 50 meters from the Indian mission in Kabul. All staff members have been moved to strong rooms as per highly placed sources. Uh, we uh, uh, can clearly see that there the smokes uh, plummeting out of that particular blast site. Let me quickly get in our uh, assistant editor, Ashish Singh, into the broadcast. Ashish, what more details can you share? So as to the initial details uh, emerging, uh, uh, the blast has been reported in uh, the near Wazir Akbar Khan area, that's in the Kabul uh, uh, PD-10 area, uh, primarily in the diplomatic circle. Uh, the distance between the explosion location and the Indian embassy is uh, just uh, 50 meters. We don't know yet whether uh, the Indian embassy or the staff was targeted or it was it was uh, some other embassy, but this is uh, for sure that uh, it was a complete uh, diplomatic circle. Uh, the entire area is uh, uh, full of embassies of uh, various countries, and that's exactly the explosion has taken place. As far as the uh, uh, Indians are concerned, I'm told that so far uh, uh, all the Indian staff members of the uh, Indian uh, High Commission in Kabul are safe. They have been moved to a strong room. The ITBP uh, has been uh, alerted. They, uh, they remember the best of the ITBP guard the Indian Embassy in Afghanistan and in Kabul, and uh, that's the reason why the ITBP has managed to thwart many such terror attacks uh, in recent past. Remember in last uh, uh, March in uh, 2016 as well, there was a massive attack on Indian Embassy, which was completely Foiled by the ITBP personnel. Now they are at the uh, alert vision. Once they uh, ascertain the exact uh, uh, intensity, the exact target of Indian Embassy, then only the Indian uh, staff of the Embassy in Kabul would be allowed to move out uh, in right. the uh, Embassy area. So far, they have been kept in strong. In fact, Ashish, we, as, a, as the visuals are showing us, as we can see smoke billowing near the Indian Embassy in Kabul and. Uh, we can also we now also hear that window panes of the embassy building have been shattered by the impact of the blast, uh, which was reported from near the German gate. But any leads there, Ashish, as to who could be behind the blast and what triggered the blast, really? Well, that's right. As the visuals uh, suggest, uh, it's a huge blast. The smoke blowing up. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's a suicide uh, blast. This right. is what the initial report. Uh, in suggests. fact, Ashish, Ashish, 50 people have been killed or wounded in a suicide car bombing in Kabul's diplomatic quarter this morning, 50 meters from the Indian Embassy. The powerful blast damaged windows and doors of the Indian Embassy, but External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has tweeted that all officials are safe. These are visuals coming in from Kabul there. The blast that happened, we know that all Indian Embassy officials are safe. This explosion happened just about 50 meters from the Indian Embassy in Kabul. Thankfully, the Indian Embassy officials were taken to a strong room. The blast happened near the Indian Embassy, and reports say that all officials are now safe, and a confirmation has come in from External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj. We saw early in the morning the visuals that came in from Kabul suggested that how there was smoke which was billowing out from uh, an area which was very close to the Indian Embassy in Kabul. And now these are visuals which are coming in, uh, the visuals which clearly suggest the extent of the blast over, as we said, that uh, many people have been wounded and uh, there are reports that the Indian Embassy, uh, essentially the window panes and the doors have also been shattered. So it now appears to be a suicide bomber there, a suicide car bomber. Over 50 people have been killed, so that is the extent of the tragedy there in Kabul. Thankfully, all embassy officials are safe, but 50 people have lost their lives or wounded in a suicide bombing in Kabul's diplomatic quarter this morning. This explosion happened just about 50 meters from the Indian embassy, and the powerful blast damaged windows and doors of the Indian embassy, but External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has tweeted to say, that all Indians uh, in the embassy there, they continue to be safe. They were escorted to a strong room within the embassy after the, soon after the explosion. 50 killed or wounded is what we are getting to hear. Let me quickly bring in our assistant editor, Ashish Singh. Uh, Ashish, uh, what more details can you share?
Well, we'll try and correct with Ashish uh, in just a bit, but uh, these are visuals coming in from Kabul. This is a, an area which is very, very close to the Indian embassy uh, to Kabul. In fact, we are now joined by the Indian ambassador to Kabul. Uh, sir, you are, thank you for joining us uh, this morning on NewsX. Your uh, reaction, sir, what details can you share with us on the nature of the explosion? Well, from what we have gathered so far, it was uh, a large uh, vehicle drone uh, bomb that exploded um, not very far from the embassy, uh, uh, outside what is known as the German Gate. Uh, that is where uh, it happened. It was a very powerful blast, so there's been a lot of damage to nearby buildings, including our buildings, uh, broken glass, uh, broken windows, doors, blown in, that sort of thing. But all of us uh, in the embassy, all our staff are, are safe. There have been quite a lot of civilian casualties, though, I, I understand. So uh, about the Indian embassy officials there who are working there in Kabul, uh, are they all safe? We just heard, uh, we saw a tweet from External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj. Uh, from, uh, no, we are all safe, yes. All, all our staff are safe, yes. But sir, any, any specific leads about who could be behind uh, this uh, explosion? As you said, that it was quite a powerful blast there. It was a very powerful blast, but uh, we don't know yet uh, who might be behind it. We would be speculating at this stage. Sir, and uh, the, just, just give us an idea, sir, where this explosion happened. We believe it is just about 50 meters from the Indian Embassy there in Kabul, where the explosion uh, took place. That is it a thickly populated area? Are there other diplomatic... Uh, you know, uh, missions also of different countries? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, it was perhaps, as uh, the crow flies, perhaps uh, about 100 meters from our embassy. That's what the reports that come in suggest. We have not yet been able to visit the blast site. Uh, and there are, uh, there are, it's, it's the diplomatic in place, so there are other embassies nearby, yes. But, uh, sir, uh, how many how many uh, staffers work in the Indian Embassy there in Kabul at this particular place where we now believe that the window panes and some doors have also uh, suffered? Uh, they have been shattered due to the intensity of the blast. Yes, our main chancery building, uh, we would be about, uh, about 150 people there. That includes our security personnel from the ITBP. And does the Indian Embassy quarters over there also house uh, the residences of officials? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so any word there coming in from uh, the local administration there in Afghanistan uh, where uh, regarding these explosions, we are seeing the visuals playing out on our screens, uh, which shows that heavy police deployment in the area after the blast, the entire area seems to have been cordoned off. Yes, the area has been cordoned off, which I'm sure is standard procedure when these things happen. And I'm sure the investigating uh, authorities are now looking at uh, various things. Is there any uh, indication, sir, that the Indian Embassy could have been a target possibly as far as this explosion is concerned? Well, like I said, it uh, happened about 100 meters away from us, uh, and there are many other uh, buildings and offices as well as diplomatic embassies nearby. So we can't say really what may have been the target. Right. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for joining us uh, with your inputs there from Kabul. So as uh, Manpreet Bora, Indian ambassador to Kabul, was telling us that all officials there posted at the Indian embassy in Kabul, they are safe. The explosion was quite powerful, and it happened near the German Gate area. And uh, yes, it j happened just about 50 to 100 meters uh, from the Indian embassy in Kabul. So uh, this is an area which is uh, populated by other diplomatic missions as well. It's a diplomatic enclave, uh, we know, and uh, now the entire area has been cordoned off. But uh, the silver lining is that, uh, about that all Indians who are working there in the Indian Embassy in Kabul, they are safe. So that is the big uh, news that is coming in now uh, from uh, Kabul there. We just heard the Indian Ambassador to Kabul, Manpreet Vora, share his inputs. Now, if my colleague Ashish Singh is still patched on the phone, uh, we'll, we'll try and connect with Ashish for more on the ground details. But uh, those are the visuals there. You can see that how uh, the police is essentially sanitizing the entire area. Who is behind the blast is still not known. Whether the Indian Embassy was the target, we still don't know. Uh, but this has happened in very close quarters of the Indian Embassy there in Kabul. Uh, so India woke up to the news of this blast this morning. Over 50 
are believed to be either dead or injured and it is believed to have been the handiwork of a car suicide bomber. So there was possibly one suicide bomber uh, who was there in a car and that the car went off and uh, thick smoke billowing out essentially, essentially uh, you know, there, uh, uh, you know, we, we see, let's, let's also quickly get in some more reactions there coming in uh, from Mr. Najaf, who's also passed on the phone line. Mr. Najaf, if you could just share your inputs on uh, this, on what has happened, uh, any leads there, whether uh, the Indian Embassy in Kabul was the target? Well, I don't know if the Indian Embassy was a target, but it was very close to a lot of embassies, including German, Indonesian, Japanese, Indian, British Embassy, so this is in the heart of diplomatic uh, district of uh, Kabul. Uh, the, atta the attack happened on uh, on, on a main road uh, uh, in the, during the morning rush hour. So a lot of uh, civilians are reportedly hurt. Um, uh, uh, reports suggest that uh, over 70 people have been either killed or wounded. But we're still in a very uh, pre uh, uh, in, in the very earliest stages to identify the uh, amount of uh, casualties. But this was uh, one of the biggest attacks Kabul has ever witnessed. We think some reports suggest that it was either a big car bomb or a truck bomb, but that is still need to be determined. But who could be behind the attacks? Any initial leads coming there, sir? Uh, I, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, it's too early to say. It's not for the media to say. Uh, no reports, no claim of responsibility yet, uh, which is interesting. Normally, Taliban take responsibility within minutes, but uh, it's uh, almost uh, an hour and a half. Uh, the attack happened, and no one has claimed responsibility. Uh, but it, it should be it should be clear very soon. Well, that's right. Thank you so much for joining us with your inputs there from Afghanistan. We'll keep tracking the developments there. Unfortunate piece of news coming in from Kabul on the.